Hi, welcome to this little clip for the EXP 5000 on how to properly conduct a scan. We can either work this in the zigzag method or the parallel method. Now here at the factory we actually recommend using the parallel method and let me show you why. As I start and I have everything set up, I come to my machine, I have everything ready to go, I push on the OK button and now I move forward. As I move forward, I come to the end of my line, if I'm in automatic mode I push OK again. The antenna will stay exactly the same way, at exactly the same angle, as I come back to my beginning point here, and now I move to the left. So the antenna is not going to go crooked or anything like that, it's going to stay straight. Now I will walk exactly the same as I did in my first line. So now I've completed two lines exactly the same. If I work zigzag now, I start my first line, and as I work my first line, I come to a stop. Now if I turn around, well this side of the antenna was over there. Now it's over here. I have rotated the antenna. I can't do that. So another way I could do it is I could walk forward, come to the end of my line, I can move to the left, I can walk backwards. Walking backwards is not the safest way to go because you can't see behind you. So if you turn, what's going to happen is, as you're turning, you're shifting the antenna. It's a rotation error. So one way to do it, if you had to, there's a couple of different methods I'll show you. You can set your antenna up here. So now it is like a pendulum with it balanced on your finger. You could theoretically walk forward to the end of your first line where you come to a stop, move to your left, and on the same pendulum basis you could walk and return your trip back. That's one way you could do it. Another way you could do it, okay, which I really, really don't recommend, is following. Let's say you walk to the front, and as you got here to the end, you move to your left. You could theoretically flip the angle of the antenna over, turn around, hold the, the telescopic rod, and then return back. This would be a method, very cumbersome, a lot of work, not recommended. Or, if you absolutely had to do the zigzag method, you could hold the antenna off to the side, as I'm having here, you could move forward at the end of your line, then you can theoretically turn your body, bring the antenna over, and do your next line. So, turning your body, moving to the next line. That's one way of doing it. It takes a little bit more space. But if you're in a field like this, and it's a big area, then that would be a possible solution. If you have the super sensor with your EXP 5000 or your EXP 4000, Use the super sensor, because the super sensor will already be vertical. But using the ho standard horizontal sensor or the live stream, it's best to do a horizontal, the, sorry, it's best to do a parallel method scan. Start at the beginning, complete your first row, come back to your beginning point, move to the left, do your next row. The antenna will stay stable. It will stay in the same orientation. It will not twist or turn, and your data will be better. And when your data is better, your analysis are easier. So thank you very much, and I hope to help you again.